guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little Q&A. And chimes. So I announced this a long time ago. I actually planned on doing Vlogmas, but I just didn't feel like I had enough time. Like I put a ton of prep in and I was so set on doing it, but I didn't end up doing Vlogmas in December. Besides the point, I feel like I planned so many videos for that that I asked you guys for Q&A questions a while ago, so I'm going to be answering them now. Um, I asked on Instagram as well as Twitter. I got the most responses on Instagram, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, links are down below as always if you want to be in like a future Q&A. First question is, what book ta taught you the most growing up? I had so many books that I read at different points in my life, obviously, that like made me into the reader I am today. Taught me the most? probably like is that book that's called like are you there god it's me margaret because like i read that in like sixth grade and that's when like girls are going through all the puberty kind of stuff and that was recommended to me by my teacher and i remember like learning a lot from that and realizing a lot of things from that and connecting with it because i was at that age so if like you're around that age that's great or if you have a kid that's around that age that's great. Another book that kind of introduced me to the YA genre was Gasp by Lisa McMahon. This book dealt with a girl who had visions and like I remember admiring her um, persistence and things like that. So that kind of taught me a lot in a way as well. Next is favorite candy. Um, if you guys don't know this, I am basically I don't eat I don't eat that much candy because like a lot of gummies and things like that have um, gelatin in them. But I do. How I do really enjoy the squish gummies and there's these vegan red roses. I'll put the package up, but they're delicious. You've been watching booktube lately. I have right now. I'm really getting back into it. If you guys have noticed, I'm uploading a lot more and I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I've been uploading more and that's great. Yeah, I have been watching more booktube. I only watch like certain people, but did you start college? Um, no, I haven't. I'm still in my last year of high school. I am in grade 12. Um, I'm in grade 12. So basically I have one year left. I have actually less than one year left I have applied to universities and things like that but I don't know if I'll get in but we'll see so I'm not I haven't started college yet um but yeah if you I'm trying to get into a criminology program and also like a psych program as well so that's what I'm doing did you ever do personal tarot readings I have I do them all the time for people actually um online like I have set up this thing where like if you want me to do one and like a lot of people want me to do them online like I do have to like charge it's not that expensive because I'm still like learning and stuff like that but um, yeah if you'd like a tarot reading just contact me on Twitter or something like that or tweet me um, and I can do one for you have you finished Harry Potter last time I saw you it was for a read a or something I have not that's been on my TBR for like three years to finish Harry Potter it hasn't happened yet I don't think any of you are surprised I have read up to the Goblet of Fire so I need to read the next one. Next question I like is do people at school know you practice Wiccan and are you treated differently? And for also for YouTube. My witchcraft stuff I don't talk about that much. Like I do talk about it online and like I do post a lot of tarot readings and stuff on my Instagram but like people don't really ask about it and I don't really bring it up so it's like one of those things. Um, I'm the same way with um, veganism which I think is another question that was asked if I'm still vegan I am. Is that does it do people treat you differently? Not really. I don't bring it up and people don't ask and last time asked about it I will answer but like I don't deliberately just bring it up. It's just like part of who I am. Kind of like no one really treats me differently because of it. Like maybe other people think of me differently that I don't like people that I don't know maybe think of me differently because of that but like my care not really so are you doing vlogmas videos I was going to but sorry it hurt when you fell from the vending machine because you're a snack thank you I know for a fact this question was from my boyfriend so thanks sweetie what's your routine for long periods of reading um long periods of reading I obviously have to get comfy blankets stuff like that I can't be too comfy like I prefer to be sit be on a couch than my bed because I will fall asleep if I'm too comfy yeah usually water's great my tabs have to be with me stuff like that I might do like a reading routine I think that would be really fun were you born in Canada or did you move there um I am asking because I do want to go to Canada when I'm 18 I was born in Canada so yeah um, I've been to the US and I want to go back to New York City, but that's besides the point. The Shining or Mr. Mercedes? How dare- I can't believe I'm asked this question. I, I don't have an answer. <laughs> I can't. Your book besides Warcraft, Murder Suicide. A book you're really hyped for that let you down. And Girl, which I talked about recently. Um, remember Stalking Jack the Ripper let me down? Just wasn't what I thought it was gonna be, but like the other two books are great. But yeah, that one let me down. What's your favorite sci-fi novel? Um, I don't read a lot of sci-fi. I want to get more into sci-fi, but I'm reading more like young adult science science fiction as opposed to adult science fiction but right now it's like Warcross probably it's like a really fun sci-fi read 
if you are into young adults. What are your newest booktubers that you subscribe to? I will check this. I watch a lot of people. Not really, actually. Do I? I'm subscribed to like 100 channels, maybe. Is that... That's not bad. I've heard people subscribe to a lot more. But um, my friend Jessica just started a channel, so I'm subscribed to that. I'll link her down below. All the other people I've been subscribed to for a while. So find more other, like maybe other booktubers as well. But then again, like, yeah, I don't know. I love who I watch, but you know, maybe I should like, you know, start watching other people as well. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Oh my God, hi, Julia. What was your favorite movie? Um, Drive with Ryan Gosling. The Place Beyond the Pines with Ryan Gosling. Yeah, those are like two ultimate faves, love. How do you go on with your days with insomnia? By the way, I unfortunately can't relate. Um, how do you go on with your days? Um, coffee? Not the best thing. Like sleep is so important. I can't even tell you guys, I used to have really bad insomnia. I still kind of do, but it's not falling to falling asleep that's the problem for me. It's like staying asleep for the night. I wake up a lot, I'm up during the night, I'm up at random times, I'll be up for hours, stuff like that. But if you guys do struggle with insomnia, again, talk to doctors about it. Um, melatonin is a natural um, supplement, not a supplement, it's a natural product that you can buy. Um, they're capsules and you can take them to help you fall asleep. That's definitely not the ideal, but if you're trying to like reset a sleep schedule, get over jet lag or something like that, and you need help falling asleep, that's helpful, but just don't stay on it forever kind of thing. And it's not addictive, but anyways. A lot of people don't like to rely on things like that, so I just thought I'd mention it, but that's what I used to use to help me fall asleep. Now I'm on like other medication to help me fall asleep when I need it, but yeah. So if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe and comment down below and like this video if you enjoyed it. I really, really appreciate it. Um, my All my social media is down below if you're interested in following me on any other platform. Um, but yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you super soon. Bye. Remedy, remedy is the same. I don't mind now you know me. The remedy, remedy is the same.